everybody, Dave Penyuk of Revenue.com and I've got another quick real estate investing video tip for you. I almost always get asked by readers and investors I meet and, and some of our own clients and students is, should I incorporate? Should I have a corporation for my real estate investing business? And whenever I hear that question, usually the first thing that I want to ask is, um, where did you get that advice or who suggested that you should have a corporation? And nine times out of ten, unfortunately this is the case, is that they heard it from um, you know, one of those weekend seminars you know, at a hotel near you by some famous guru um, that basically suggests, well you need to have a corporation otherwise your, your, your family's at risk, uh, you're going to get sued and you're not protected and you're not doing uh, the best tax strategy, you know, tax savings advantages that you can if you don't have a corporation. And then conveniently at these weekend seminars they have people at the back of the room that will sign you up for their $2,000, $3,000 um, corporation, they'll set it all up for you and you'll get this fancy little binder and and uh, unfortunately a lot of people have gone through this, myself included. So I always want to ask the individual that's asking me is where did you get that advice? Who suggested that you should incorporate? And this is especially important when you're just starting out, when you have zero properties or one or two or three maybe. Do you really need a corporation? Well, again, I don't want to answer that for you because what you really need to do is speak to a real estate investing specializing lawyer and a real estate investing specializing accountant and ideally somebody that you're already working with in both, both sides. Um, you want to get their advice because they'll look through your financials, they'll look at your own personal situation to determine whether it makes sense. Um, very few of our uh, joint venture partners that are investors with us are incorporated. Uh, there's a few that have a holding company um, and that's usually because they have a sizable uh, asset portfolio that they do want to protect. But most people in general, corporations just complicate things. They're expensive. You have to have a business account. That's expensive. You have to prepare corporate tax accounts every year, etc., etc. So for most people, it is not very advantageous to have a corporation, particularly when you're starting out. Now, as you get bigger, it makes sense to potentially incorporate, especially if it becomes your full-time business. We have a corporation, it's an active business, um, but we have a very sizable portfolio and we've been doing it for a long time. We did have a corporation, as I, I mentioned, that I was sold at the back of the room as part of the special mentorship um, program uh, and I didn't use it at all. I couldn't use it for anything. The banks wouldn't let me um, put uh, the, the uh, property on title in the corporate name, so there's none of that protection. There's virtually no use for that corporation, yet every year I had to pay um, tax returns, every year I had to pay um, bank fees, every year I had to do all these complicated things for a completely useless corporation. So I'm not saying you shouldn't get a corporation, but just make sure you ask the individual that's, that's um, or, or get your own objective advice from a real estate investing specializing lawyer and a real estate investing specializing account that didn't come recommended from that guru that sold you on the idea. So hopefully that helps you out and uh, I look forward to hearing from you and hopefully that uh, saves you a few bucks in the meantime. Until next time.